What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Score Fantasy Basketball Podcast. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Waver Wire Queen. We are going to start ranking our top 20 players in fantasy basketball. Today's episode, we're going to rank 20 through 16. So players 20 through 16, we will be ranking today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you play fantasy basketball and you are looking for great information, which will help you throughout your fantasy basketball season. Now let's start talking about those players. Again, we're ranking today 20 to 16. And what we'll do is we'll have three more parts where we'll rank our players leading up to the top player in fantasy basketball. Coming in at number 20, DeJounte Murray, guard with the Hawks. DeJounte Murray, I had him ranked much higher, but with the trade from San Antonio to the Hawks, you already know they have Trey on that roster. So Trey, to me, will be the more ball-dominant guard. Um, They also just have a a, a better overall group of, of talent on that team. Murray is still going to be very good, but he's not going to have to do some of the things that he had to do with the Spurs. To me, he's going to be even better defensively because he's really going to take more of a lead role defensive-wise. He'll still be a threat for triple doubles, just not as much as this past season. He had a career year, and I expect him to be good, just not have the type of production he did this past season. What did he do statistically? Well, let's talk about it. He played 68 games, 21.1 points per game, which was a career high. He shot 46.2% from the field, 32.7% from three. That has to increase. He's never been a great three-point shooter, but he's worked on his field goal percentage. And then in other areas, he has excelled. So that kind of eliminates the, the, um, low three-point percentage, 79.4% from the free throw line, 8.3 rebounds, 9.2 assists, 2.6 turnovers per game with two steals. Those were career highs, right? Now, again, he's a threat for a triple-double. He's a two-way player, which I love two-way players. They really stuff the stat sheet, and that is what DeJounte Murray brings to the table. Again, I expect his stats to go down slightly, mainly with the assists because Trey is ball dominant. So I'm I'm still a little suspect on how it's going to work with those two. I'm hoping it's going to work, and I'm looking forward to seeing how that's going to work. So DeJounte Murray slightly lower than what I had him rated, but he is still a very good overall basketball player and you will uh, be pleased with the production he's going to produce this season for you. Coming in at number 19, Devin Booker with the Suns. He is a very good shooting guard. He's, He's just super talented and he's always going to produce. He's going to lead the Suns in scoring and That is the kind of production you want on your side. What did he do for you last season? He played 68 games. He averaged 26.8 points per game, shot over 46% from the field, which is great. Over 38% from threes, which is really good. I expected him to be in the 40s, and I would love to see him get there. But, you know, he started off a little slow last year as well, too, but he picked it up, and I expect him to have another great season. Um five rebounds per game, 4.8 assists, one steal, and 2.4 turnovers. What you get with Devin Booker is consistency scoring-wise. He may get some rebounds and he may get some assists, but he is going to bring scoring to the table. Coming in at number 18, we have the great Jimmy G. Buckets. Jimmy Butler with with the Miami Heat. He plays the guard. He plays the forward position. He is a two-way player. And he had a very good 2021 season, and he's going to have another good season. He's just got to just do it all. He does it all for Miami, and I don't see that changing. I'm hoping to see him play more games. You know, he was dealing with some injuries last year. I expect to see him hit over 60 because with Jimmy, what I always remember when he played with the Bulls is he was 
very, very tough and always on the field. And this season, unfortunately, missed a few games due to injuries. But again, with Jimmy Butler, you're going to get a two-way player who's going to do a lot. Stat stuffer. I love those type of players because they're going to produce in multiple categories for your team. So you're not just relying on him to score. If he's not scoring, he may be getting you rebounds or assists, steals, blocks. He's going to do it all for your team. And that is the kind of player you want. You don't want a player who's just going to score because what if they're off? Then what else do they bring into the table for you? You want somebody who's going to be able to be well-rounded. And that's what Jimmy Butler is. He played 57 games last season. He averaged 21.4 points per game. He shot 48% from the field which is very good for Jimmy. The three-point percentage is not even worth mentioning, but he shot 23.3%, which is not good at all, and he really needs to get up there. If Jimmy Butler would get his three-point shooting to like 35, because we got to take baby steps, get him up to 35, hell, even 30, he would be um, a, a, a 24-point scorer in um, this upcoming season, but I don't expect him to do that, but I still love all that Jimmy does on the, the basketball court, which is going to help you fantasy-wise. Well, he shot 84% from the field this past season, 5.9 rebounds, 5.5 assists, 2.1 turnovers, and 1.6 still. So Jimmy is going to do a lot for your team. Coming in at number 17, one of my favorite young guards, Ja. That is right. This young man is so damn talented. I was hoping that he um, fell to the Chicago Bulls. Obviously, that was like a, a prayer that I knew was going to work because, yeah, he, he got drafted by obviously the Grizzlies. They were looking at him, and we didn't have a higher pick to go and get him. But this young man is so amazing. He was on to um, an MVP-type season but then got hurt. I expect him to, to come back and have a, a – even better season for the Grizzlies. He played 57 games, averaged 27.4 points per game, which is great. He shot 49.3% from the field. His three-point percentage can use some work. He shot 34.4%, which in my opinion, if he can get that up to 40, he would be even more dangerous. He, he's already dangerous. He would be on a whole other level because you just don't know what's going to happen. And he's going to dunk on you, and then he's going to hit a three. Woo! That's what I want to see, the, the, the three-point percentage increase for um, Ja because he is just so athletic and talented, but the three-point um, field goal percentage just has to increase. For me. He shot 76.1% from the free throw line. I want to see that up to at least 80 and above as a guard. He averaged 5.7 rebounds, 6.7 assists, 3.4 turnovers, which I need to see that go down a little bit. I want to see the three-point percentage increase. The assists, I want to see him at eight assists per game. He has that type of potential to at least be a double-double with um, points and assists. And again, I want those turnovers to go down a little bit. And then he averaged 1.2 steals per game. So if Ja can come out here this season and increase his three-point percentage and, and increase the assist totals and decrease the, um, the turnovers and play at least 70 games for me, he's going to shoot up my um, rankings easily. Coming in at number 16 is Sabonis with the Kings. Plays the forward center spot. He is just simply amazing. This young man is efficient, and he's, he's going to score. He's going to rebound and definitely do it in an efficient way. If you can get him, then this is a great pick. If you are in the league, you may get um, one of the top players, top top five, top ten players, and then and, and, and end up adding um, Sabonis with your uh, second pick. In, in, in your, your draft, and that's, that's great because he's going to produce for you. He played 62 games. He averaged 18.9 points, shot 57.3% from the field. And again, I said that he's going to be efficient. So he's going to shoot a high percentage, and that is good. And then he's going to, to rebound the ball, okay? He's, he's a double-double guy, all right? That's what we love. 12.1 rebounds he averaged last year, 5.2 assists, 3.1 turnovers, and one still. The 3.1 turnovers is a bit high for him 
as a forward slash center. So I want to see that come down a, a little bit. He shot 31.2% from threes and 74% from the free throw line. When I draft Sabonis, I'm drafting him for his points, his rebounds, and his efficiency. So if that is the kind of forward slash center you are looking for this year, then he is your guy. If you can't get one of those top five guys, then he is the next best thing. And you will be pleased with his production. And that is just, that's just what it is. He's, he's, he's amazing. And I can't say enough great things about him. Um, I'm expecting him to be even better this year with Sacramento. I would love to see his point totals go up to 20 and maybe push those rebounds. Get, give me 13 rebounds. I'm being greedy with him, but I know that he can do it. I know the potential is there, but what I would love to see is he is, I would love to see him, um, improve on his three-point percentage because that's where you can get that 20, 21 point totals. And that'll make him even more dangerous in fantasy basketball, especially if you're in a categories based league, because now he's hitting threes. So he's adding the three pointers for you. And then he's also increasing his three point percentage. But nonetheless, if you can get him, then this is a great player to have on your team. Make sure you leave some comments and let me know what players you are targeting this year in fantasy basketball. And did we get it right with players 20 to 16? Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We have a lot of great content, which will help you prepare for your upcoming fantasy basketball draft and ensure that you are competing at the highest level every day and week in fantasy basketball. Remember, this was part one of our top 20 players. Make sure you tune in on Wednesday. We'll have our players from 15 to 10. So make sure you are tuned in on Wednesday. Y'all have a great week. Thanks for listening to The Score Fantasy Basketball Podcast. Be sure to subscribe to The Score for more fun and great advice on how to win at fantasy basketball. And if you've got comments or questions about The Score, send them to waverwirequeen at gmail.com. The Score.